All right, so we have a couple of components here. We have Fiddler, the request composer, which is where I'm going to um, trigger the request. I have um, Firestore, which is the database from which I want to request um, data. So in this case, I want to request data from this particular user ID. It's actually a script run ID, but let's assume this is a user ID. So I want this user ID of R2105518 QA script stalled, and I'm expecting this data to come back. I also have my Google Tag Manager um, server side debugging console open and the Google Cloud logs. So let's go to Fiddler and execute this request and let's see what happens. So we execute it, we got the data back, which you can see here, it's JSON encoded. So we can just uh, do a JSON parse, for example, if it's in our browser, and then we'll have a fully functional JavaScript object. And what happened? Let's look at this now. So here we have the request tab. We see that the incoming request was the one that I queried via Fiddler um, went with its request body. And um, this is the response we then gave back to Fiddler. I imagine this could also be your browser. And um, let's look at the outgoing request. So the request that the client sent. So it sent an outgoing request to my PubSub endpoint with the request body, including the token, the secret token, and it got the following data back from the PubSub cloud, PubSub triggered cloud function. And then it in turn returned that data to the requester that is Fiddler, which we just saw when we looked at the incoming request, which is exactly the response body just encoded one more time. If we look at the cloud logs, we see this is the script that we requested. And we also see that it was stored in a template storage cache. And um, so the next time we query it, it should be returned from the template storage cache. And for this, I have to switch the debug mode off or request the um, file without the XGTM server preview header which is sort of a way to use the debug mode, even if you're not in your browser with the, uh, the GTM debug cookie. And let's do this again. We got the same response. So if we look at our cloud logs here, the second time we got this message that we found it in the template cache and returned the cached version. So template caching also worked, which is important because that way you avoid querying the same visitor ID over and over again. Yeah, that's of course important to take load off of your servers, save costs, and of course make the request to that visitor data a lot faster.